been a while, but I'm glad to be back and posting again. Okay, so my trusty $4 slip-ons look like they've seen better days, and so I've decided to buy a new pair, and I've decided to get Birkenstock. So if you're interested in ordering a pair online and learning from my mistakes, please keep watching. Anyway, after much research and trying out Birkenstocks in actual shoe shops, I finally decided on the Madrid Big Buckle in Old Rose because I wanted the original footbed, which Birkenstock is known for. And on top of that, this model is super cute and will go with a lot of outfits whether it's dresses, shorts, skirts, or pants. This model is new and exclusive to those who have a Birkenstock online account, which is free to sign up for anyway, so I did. Now, usually I'm a size 7.5 or a 38, but when I had tried on the Madrids at a shop, that size seemed too tight for me, so I decided to size up to 39. However, I was unaware of the differences between wide and narrow, and I always preferred the wider size, and unfortunately, this model only came in medium to narrow, and so by default, I just ordered it without really thinking too much about it. And only after I had ordered the sandals did I find out that there was actually a printable measuring tool that you can use to find out if the shoes are the perfect size for you. So basically that was the biggest mistake I made and if you do not want to make the same mistake, this is what you're going to do. You're going to download that from the Birkenstock website and then print it out. Now the standard paper size of this tool is A4, but if you only have, say, legal or letter, you can still print it out to scale by making sure to set the scale to 100% in your printer's settings. When I did that, I found out that the shoes might not fit my width, and of course I was so sad because I really wanted this specific model. However, once you've placed the order, you can no longer cancel it, so I had no choice but to wait. By the way, if you find this video useful so far, please hit the like button. And if you want to see more of my unboxing and lifestyle videos, please subscribe. Okay, so I ordered these shoes on Sunday afternoon, and they arrived Tuesday afternoon, which is pretty fast, and the shipping was free. The sandals, including the buckles, are lightweight yet sturdy, and they came unbuckled. The straps are Nubuck, which is a super soft top grain leather with a softly buffed surface. It's softer than oiled leather, so it's easier to break into, they say, and it's almost velvety, but it's still sturdier than suede. However, Nubuck is still sensitive to moisture, so I think it's best to just keep it from getting wet. Now, flashback to my $4 slip-ons. You might be wondering why I'm replacing them with this rather expensive pair. And to be honest, I have two reasons. First, I want something that will last much longer, and I have seen tons of testimonials online that Burks last years, and some would even say 10 to 20 years if properly taken care of. Second is for sentimental reasons, because my first pair was when I was back in elementary school, and they were secondhand. I wore those until I outgrew them but I never had the money to afford them after elementary school. But this pair is actually a gift from my husband and I'm really incredibly grateful about that. Now, it's time to try them out and I did. Surprisingly, they felt secure and roomy with some allowance in the front and back. Remember, I sized up from a usual 38 and got a 39 but I found out that it's kind of a good thing actually because according to Birkenstock there has to be approximately a five millimeter or half a centimeter 
between your heel and the edge of the footbed. And mine is ever so slightly more than that. There should also be approximately 10 millimeters or one centimeter between your toes and the front edge of the footbed as well. So I think this is still the right size for me. I have also read online that the edges of the footbed tend to curl up over time, so the sandals will probably fit me better later down the line. Surprisingly, I didn't feel any discomfort at all despite the fact that these sandals are narrow while my feet fall more under the regular category. However, this might not always be the case for some people and so I would still recommend that you try out some sandals before you purchase them to find out whether they are actually the perfect fit. In the end, I decided to keep this pair. I'm really happy with them and I'm so excited to try them out with different outfits and I'll probably be sharing some more videos on how I style these Madrid soon. What do you think of this style? And uh, what's your personal preference with Burt's? Share your experiences in the comments below and I'll see you in the next one.